here in Malibu, California. The gloves are off for round three of Super League Triathlon. They're off and into the water. I know a lot of the athletes were worried about missing a wave. If you can crack a wave and catch it to the sand, it could be 10 or 15 seconds. So there's a lot of concern about being too far back and missing those waves. So you saw that exit out of the swim, very, very critical. The road surface is quite tough. There could be a few issues on the bike this week without question. She's come off maybe, oh. and there's a chain off, and this changes the complexion of this race series that completely. She's gonna need to get back on. Oh no, there was a crash again. Oh, she's down again. She had a crash early in London. She's had another one here. She had a flat tire in the Olympics. She has not had the luck. Yeah, last year's Super League did see Georgia be a bit of a calamity Jane. Things just kept happening to her in virtually every race. And Georgia Taylor-Brown will be stopped on this lap. And there is the elimination flag for Taylor Brown. She doesn't think it's for her. I don't know if there's just like minor lapses in concentration or I can't really pinpoint what it is. But what I can say about Georgia and knowing her as well as I do is she's the most resilient person that I think I've ever met. I didn't want to do that race at all. I was, I just didn't want to be there any second of it and I've never felt like that before. I love racing, I only do the races because I love being there. So to sort of force myself to do a race, that was quite sad for me because I, I just didn't enjoy it. So yeah, it was hard to sort of process that one. But yeah, I gave it, I gave it what I could on the day. It's really strange to think that George has never won a Super League race. She's been so good across the board, pretty much since she first started doing Super League, had so many podium results, won the overall in 2021, but hasn't won an individual race. It's really strange to think that that's actually possible. I personally just think it's a matter of time. The Queen's incredible contribution across 70 years will continue to echo across generations. And as such, we begin this race weekend with a moment's silence. Going into Munich, I kind of knew that if I had a really good first race and I could be in the race, then that was going to set me up for the next two parts of the Munich race. It has started raining here at the Olympia Park, so that first bike and that first run up and down the grass is going to be absolutely crucial. GTB will want to be the one on the top step of the podium as the reigning champion here. You have to go for it on every single race, you can't hold back. Yeah, I'm sick of coming seconds. <laughs> The strength of Georgia, not just technically, but out of those corners means you just can't really afford to give her, give her any time. I did enjoy that race in the end because it was, it was kind of nice to just be out front on my own and just take my time with things and do it my way rather than be dictated by others. Taylor Brown just seems to be getting better and better as yeah. this race goes on. It, it felt strange to be racing, because like we were in a different country and back at home they were just mourning for the entire week. So, so I felt like I, I should pay my respects in, in some way. Holding the Union Jack flag there on such a solemn weekend really for Brits around the globe. Georgia Taylor Brown on a tough week for the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth and the world at large. She does the job here and she does it so comfortably with a little bow at the end, the black armband on. She is your Munich champion and she has been supreme. I think when things are going well for Georgia, we just see her absolutely fly. She's gone too Ooh. hot into the corner and hit the barrier and taken off plenty of bark. <laughs> yeah, it was quite, I think I took it a bit too fast. And I just got excited because we had a good gap on the rest of the field. And it meant that we could then have gained quite a bit of a time gap going into the final race. And this race has just been thrown on its head in stage two. Georgia Taylor-Brown now 40 seconds back and by herself. How can she get her way back into this race? She had somewhat of a buffer after stage one, but that has all evaporated and she's now 40 seconds in arrears and with nothing but clear air ahead of her and behind her. And almost at that point, I didn't care if I came off again, because I was like, I just want to try and stay in the race. You've got a young lady that's got the heart of a lion. She just does not know the word lose. Ready to say some goals, Georgia. 
Well, 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 this is going wow. to be a really, really interesting last bit of racing. Georgia Taylor Brown, 22 seconds back. Can she cover that distance? It's not my weekend, is it? I just went in too hard into that far corner. I was on my own, so I just went all in. Oh, this sea is going to burn. Spidey first, Casilla second. It's a long wait, isn't it? Oh, huge. Potter right behind her, but Taylor Brown is about to feel the sting on those grazers as she heads into the salt water of the Pacific Ocean. To lose 30 odd seconds in super, to lose 30 odd seconds in any racing is pretty catastrophic. But she has a lot of confidence in the training that she does, in what she believes, again, that her body can do, and she just goes out there and, and works hard. She's going to use her strengths to get back into this racing, which she's done at 28 seconds. She's pulled four seconds out of them. She's still in this with her bike skills. She can put herself back in the hunt. I had to get on my bike and I had to carry on racing and I had to keep taking the corners like I would have anyway. So I did just keep sweeping around the corners. Wasn't, almost wasn't worried about coming off again because I'd already come off. So I was like, well, whatever. Like, I'm just going to do what I can do now to get as closest to the front as I can. Georgia Taylor Brown, probably the better runner of the group before, but you don't know the damage that bike crash has done and how hard she had to work in that second stage run so there'll be some fatigue in those legs. The adrenaline is an incredible thing, especially with Super League there's not really time to think, you just do. Last lap here in Malibu after three weeks of racing, a war of attrition. This is a proper shootout with Summer Rappaport and Georgia Taylor Brown. As Rappaport takes the lead on the last lap from Taylor Brown, this is for the last spot on the podium. I don't really know how you have the crash with the chain coming off, with the time loss that she suffered in Malibu, and then put yourself back at the podium end of a race. Yeah, I knew that 23 seconds was a lot to make up over that, over that distance, but I was gonna do all I could to stay in the race and fight until I got a podium. And Georgia Taylor Brown has run away from Rappaport, a fantastic podium after a big crash in stage two on the bike, and that speaks volumes for her class. I don't think I can say it enough times, like I don't know how she is as resilient and determined as she is. She doesn't let anything phase her, even when it looks like this might not be her day. She always seems to bounce back and end up in those top few people. And you can see exactly how much Taylor Brown has had to dig. And that's when you start to see a champion become a great. When you can do that and not let that affect your racing world, you're the complete profession. She wants this title. in the south of France and a big crowd building here to watch round four of Super League Triathlon on the Triple Mix. A really delicately poised championship series with one point between Taylor Spivey of the Rhinos and Georgia Taylor Brown of the Scorpions. And off we go into the water, the first ever river swim and the first ever French Super League Triathlon. I got ill on the Wednesday that week. I literally just wanted to start that race. I didn't even think about finishing. To be honest, we weren't sure what we were going to see from Georgia today. We know she's not been especially well this week. I had, but my sinuses were so blocked. I had the worst throw ever. There's a picture of me on the start line uh, for the second race when we started on the run. I am just coughing my guts up. I just wanted to try and, if I could, just get to the finish line but I knew that was a, quite a big thing to ask of my body at that point. And I had full confidence that she could get up and come back from it and still win. Now that gives you power as an athlete. As all the athletes look at where the splits start and finish, but at the front it will be Georgia Taylor Brown, which means she has plenty of clear space ahead of her and can stay out of trouble. Yeah, when you have a cold and you go hard, your throat burns so much. Georgia Taylor-Brown out there by herself at the moment. 
Controlled, calm, but somehow the fastest. She's also very, very good at compartmentalising things. So something bad will happen and then she'll box that off and she'll move on and she'll do the next thing perfectly. To the point where she shut down and cruised. Now that's an athlete that once again has learnt from the failures and is able to relax at speed. She's another level like that girl. Like I, like I said, I've known her since she was a teenager and it's always been like, yeah, she's going to be a bit special, this one. <laughs> now she is. <laughs> you know, so you're talking about someone who's faced failure, moved on, embraced it and delivered on it. gets underway and how about the leaderboard it's the tail of two tailors at the top of the table the pair of them on 56 points coming in as the reigning champion you do feel a bit of pressure because you do want to perform again and they are into the water here in neom a good start in the middle of the pontoon by the scorpions a long shallow run out Georgia Taylor Brown, last time out we had the Enduro in Munich, absolutely dominated. She was gone and they never saw her again, and I know she'll be looking to do the same sort of tactic here today. Get away from Taylor Spivey early on, make the race her own, put herself in control. Like, it is your race and you do what you need to do, but you're always aware of who's around you in a race. And she'll do what she needs to do, and I'll do what I need to do. As we see Georgia Taylor Brown leading that group of chasers. Taylor Brown at the moment with the slight edge over Spivey who is trying to catch up and jump onto those feet because it's those two for the overall, those two for the 50,000 US dollars and the SLT 2022 championship. It is absolutely game on. It's natural for all athletes to put that pressure on themselves because we train so hard and you want all those sacrifices and all the training to be worthwhile so you do expect a lot of yourself. So about three and a half kilometres on the bike to go in a 1.6 kilometre run and there is all sorts of quality in this pack of five women as they head out into the desert in Neom once again. Taylor Brown has overtaken Potter and it's Spivey who needs to find a way back. Well, Georgia Taylor Brown, she's done it so many times. She just looks so calm. Her head is barely moving, but she is tracking down Sophie Colwell. I'm kind of like fascinated with the human body and what it can do, the limits that I can go to as well and how far I can push it. Uh, and that might sound a bit sadistic, but I just love it. Such a cool customer, Georgia Taylor Brown, and now they sight the finish. Beth Potter is struggling in the back and she has broken Sophie Colwell Taylor Brown. Olympic gold medalist, Olympic silver medalist, 2021 Super League champion, multiple race winner over the course of this season. And she will finish here in the desert with a race win to make her the champion once again. Georgia Taylor Brown is your champion here in the OM. So Georgia radiates victory into this team. That's what she brings to the table. Georgia Taylor-Brown. You are the Super League 2022 champion. What does that mean to you? Uh, yeah, it means an awful lot. Um, it's been a flipping long season. I mean, we've had five incredible races with Super League and I'm just so happy to come out on top. I was just like, yeah, I, you never know what to expect with Super League. It's always changing and it's, sometimes it's just pure luck. So now I've kept my head down and I can honestly say that I've given every single race my all. 